just don't like that word. Okay. My grandmother taught me that she got away from it, and you never want to be called that. Okay, never. she has fully empowered the word with negative connotations because white people heat the whole bunch of guys. I, I, I'm not looking at it at a, at a white way or a black way. I'm looking at the way I was taught, the way I was raised as I go. I'm looking at it from the, my black roots, okay? I'm not looking at it from what the white man has empowered or anybody else. I'm looking at what my parents taught me and my grandparents taught me, and that is, that's a disrespectful word. That's all. It's not right people being empowered or nobody. It's just the way that I was raised with my parents and what they told me the word mean. That's what I'm going on. I can't well, go on what no white man. I, I, no white I, man never taught me a nigga. I can tell you another another uh, another uh, a story with the N word. Uh, I was in West Virginia. I got beat back there somehow. I don't know how I ended up over in uh, uh, Morgantown or uh, Martinsburg. Yeah, I got beat back to Martinsburg. Anyways. I was doing a lot of writing, setting more bombs off. Anyways, uh, Senator Byrd, you know who Senator Byrd was? He was a big yeah, senator. Well, senator Byrd was one of my favorite uh, speakers. Uh, he could he could filibuster, and he could really speak. I love the way he tore up Clarence Thomas when he was going for the nomination to be in the uh, Supreme Court. Boy, I don't know how anybody could vote for Clarence Thomas after Senator Byrd got through with him. And Senator Byrd was a Klansman. As a matter of fact, I wrote him a letter telling him how much I have enjoyed him. Uh, when he got sick and everything, and, and I was hoping for the best for him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, uh, anyways, he got a hold of some of my writings, and I, somewhere I mentioned that uh, where I was living at, there's uh, basically living in a neighborhood of a bunch of white niggers. Anyways, a couple weeks after that, he's on the floor of the Senate. He got a hold, hold of my stuff, and he stands up, and you can probably Google this and look it up, but he says, now I'm going to say something, and everybody knows it's true. I've met him. You've met them. We all know there's such thing as white niggers. Honest yeah. to God, Senator Byrd said this on the floor. Right. Anyways, he went on this dissertation about, <laughs> about, about white trash, basically white niggers. And anyways, by the next day tomorrow, the, by the next day, he's back on the Senate floor, and he goes, I, I deeply apologize. I'll never use that word again. I mean, the whole world jumped him because of that little speech that he gave about white niggers. Well, on what the, he was talking floor. about. What 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 uh, he was talking about was is was, was we term wig we term this wiggers you know it's a disparaging term used to describe a Caucasian person that mimics ghetto and urban vernacular or a white person who attempts to act black you call him a wigger which is oh white, really yeah which is wow a that's, a, that's, yeah, that's a, a new one on me yeah is that is that is that a well known term or in other words. Is it known yeah. by everybody? A wigger? Yeah. Wow. Everybody know, everybody know about wiggers and everything, you know. But that's well, that's that it. Is a, that's that it. Is a, I am. You, you, that, that word's killed. Then if, if they're already morphing the word, and they're already taking the word, and they're transferring it to wiggers for white people. That word's dead. Debbie's right. You got to give it up. No, <laughs> no. The word is the nigger is still good. Nigger is cool. Uh, well, they, I, they continue to. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Let me let me say this real quick. Real quick, and then we go to the next caller here. But right now, what they're doing, they're doing the same thing to the word Mexican. Okay? They're making Mexican bad. They're making Mexican seem like uh, they're poor. They they, 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 uh, they want to come over here and, and uh, get everything for free. They want to work for pennies. Uh, uh, they, they, they're trashy. They don't speak English. You know, Mexicans are the new niggas uh, in the United States. You know what I'm saying, man? I mean, how many words are we going to let white people kill? You okay. know what I'm saying? What you going to do? Change the country of Mexico? So I, mean, I mean, we got a lot of WAPs. You're going to get a new name? Two WAPs walking up to each other going, hey, my WAP, what's going on? Hey, WAP I'm just saying, I, what I'm saying is this. A WAP might be a disparaging term, but a Mexican is not. But they're making Mexican a dirty word. <laughs> okay? Nigga is not a dirty word, but they made nigga a dirty word. Well, Mexican's well, not. It's, they, they, they more or less call them, uh, um, uh, Right, wet backs and uh, what what uh, specs? What are yeah, specs? When, uh, when you say Mexican, what do you think? What do you think? Mexican? Uh, what, right. what is that? Mexican is the new nigga. It's the nigga that'll work for nothing. It's 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 uh, it's uh, 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 somebody who ain't got nothing. Somebody who want to come here and get something for free. You know, it's, even though they are billionaire Mexicans in their own country. Yeah, they're all but in California. I'm just saying, uh, this is the way white people do 
certain words. You know, they turn those words into something they shouldn't be. And then we give the words the power, like like the white people got the power to change everything and make everything what they want it to be. Get out of here. I'm a nigga. Okay? Uh, my, my daddy the was a nigga. people saying the white people are changing it. The white people are not changing it. Black people are You born into it? You born into yeah. it? No, I was raised on that. Not to say it. I was okay, raised on that. Okay, your parents born into it. I don't care. It had nothing to do with white people. I don't but care. But why are so many rappers? Why is Bill Cosby, Al Sharpton, all these people who are out here protesting the youth, the word usage of niggas with niggas, okay? Okay, Ron Hunter, you got, you, you want to come in here? Yeah, one I am. How are you guys doing tonight? We're doing great, man. We're you know, having a this was, world. Right, right, <laughs> I hear you. I was going to say, guys, if this was Battleship, you'd be hitting all around the ship. I think, um, <laughs> well, I mean, you guys have hit it a couple times, but it's time for us to sink it, you know. This is a fairly serious subject. So let me okay. tell you a little story. I'll tell you a story, and after that, you can tell me what you think about it. So um, we said the word Mexican is, is, is a nationality. So... Um, how about we look at the word nigger and then look at what's close to the word nigger, which would be the country, Niger. Niger, Niger, yeah. Or as we know it, Nigeria. Okay. So imagine, imagine this was 100 years ago or more. You got two people who have been taken against their will from Nigeria or somewhere in Africa. Nigeria, as you know, has a strong democratic tradition. So if you're standing in a place, you're not sure what's going on. Someone's trying to get you to do a lot of work and you're not sure why. And the people appear to be democratic. So can you imagine one person from Niger talking to another person from Niger and saying, look, man, you know, I'm sort of angry, too, and I think we probably should uh, take steps to defend ourselves and try to get out of this situation. But remember, we're from Niger, from Niger, and we're democratic, too. We should be able to work with these people. I thought a theoretical conversation like that, if overheard by someone who did not speak the native language, who was a Caucasian, might just have heard and watched two people interact and said, oh, that word gives this person power over that person. And since they were already in this tremendous guilt trip of having enslaved people in the first place, that was enough of a psychological release for them to adopt that word and use it with all the other weapons of oppression. Does that make sense to you guys? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I just thought I'd bring it up. Holy God, you sound like a bunch of kindergartners. Yeah. Oh, come off it, man. Don't get on them. It's, this is hard stuff, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty darn skilled at it. So when I bust through these things, I'm yeah. pretty sure that's true, you know? It's, yeah, it's all about well, democracy. And right, well, I got one for you, Ron. Now, you open that line of thinking up. I worked with, I was a security guard, and I worked with a Nigerian, really smart guy. Black as coal. It was, he was a, uh, some, there was some coup or something that happened in Nigeria, and he was like a lieutenant. He was the wrong guy on the end of the stick. And so he made it to America. Are you, are you there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Anyways, so when it came to American blacks, you know what he said? He says, I, you know, he says, American blacks, he says, they're nothing like Africans. He says, they're nothing but American white, I mean, American niggers. Because I don't like any of them. Well, look, no I mean, kidding. Well, let's uh, look in other words, an African American from I Africa. I know, I know, but your point is digressive almost to the point of being offensive. In that, every single person who's lived multiple generations in America, you lose some of your edge from being from another country. When you're from another country, you come here from a different culture. Usually, the second generation immigrants are the ones that drive most of the things in this country, which is why I expect that a lot from Barack Hussein Obama. But, um, exactly. And in, in ways he has attempted to fulfill it, but in many ways, in my opinion, he has failed. So, and that's not, I'm not putting it on his shoulders. I'm just saying there's appear to be the facts at this time. But, um, yes, yep, Barack Obama is a nigga. Now, uh, well, hold it, hold it now. <laughs> He's not from Nigeria per se. That'd be Kenya. So if you're going to call him anything, it would be a He's, Kenya. Uh, he's uh, of African descent. His father was a Kenyan. His father was a nigga. And that makes uh, Barack Obama a nigga. If that's. Unless nigger is really short for Niger, and then he would be a Kenyan and not a Nigerian. Nigerian. Well, no, nigger nigger just means that he's of African descent, uh, of dark skin, a dark skinned people. That's why he has darkness in his skin. Uh, right, which is culture, and that's like you said, culture and vernacular. That's how um, how we get from point A to point B. And when you grow up in a certain area, there are certain things built into that. When you grow up, you learn them from your parents. And a lot yeah. of it's driven by women who are scared of what other people will do to them if they have a fundamental hatred or fear of them. And you do realize how close psychologically both of those things are together. 
Exactly. Exactly. Ask it. Uh, are you there? Yeah. How you doing? I'm doing real good. Yeah, I just got it. Um, I just had to go ahead and get into the discussion. Um, you know, guys, um, guys talking about Mexicans because I'm I'm Mexican myself, and exactly, I've been, I, and I've been through know, it all my acid, life. Acid. They've been saying Mexicans are the new niggas, you know, and they talk about Mexicans all the time. Like Mexicans are this, and they can't speak English. Mexicans, they rounding up Mexicans and putting them back in the uh, internment camps and taking them back over well, there. If, the Mexicans. If, if you go ahead and think about it, I'm I'm one shade away uh, one shade away from you guys, so <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm saying, what do you what do you have to say about that? You know, uh, are you gonna let them just take so so much dirt on the word Mexican that nobody would, and in like a hundred years from now you'll be like, don't call me a Mexican. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true, but you, you know you got a lot of ignorant people in the uh, United States that. Think that think that just um, white is just the main the main color of the U.S. It's not. It's it's the nationality of throughout the world is in here in the United States. Right. So, right. You know, it, it, acid, it, there's it, a... it's ignorant um, for people even saying um, stuff like that. You know, it it just irritates me. There's an important point to describe yourself too. If you have been in America for more than a generation, you should say you're an American of X descent. So right. part of my Family is from Europe, so if I was going to say I'm an American of partial Hungarian Scottish descent, but I'm an American first, but I support the Constitution. And some people, unfortunately, in my opinion, have a legitimate right not to want to support it, especially in its current, uh, the current environment we're in. So they yeah. might describe themselves as a North American of African, you know, Asian, uh, Middle Eastern, or European descent would be the, yeah. the, the proper way to say it. Yeah, I understand that, but. You know, I I was born in the United States. My dad, my father, he's um he's true Mexican, so he's he was born in the United States as well. So I consider myself an American first, more than anything, than and um, being Mexican um, second. I, mm -hmm. I'm proud of my heritage and everything, but you know, I'm an, I'm an American, and I want to be called an American, not Mexican or Hispanic or. You know, yeah, cholo or anything, you know, stupid stuff you, like that. Do you don't you see the negative connotations being thrown up on Mexican now, though? You oh see yeah. What I'm saying? Even though Mexican is a perfectly good word, and Mexico Mexico is a great country. Yeah, it's got its natural advantages built in that make it much more survivable, a lot less expensive to live. Um, I mean, it, that's in you know. Everything changes in these modern times. Things change fast, but that yeah. was that's pretty much the Mexico everybody knows. Matter of fact, you got several Americans that have left the United States and gone to Mexico to live, including uh, uh, what's his name? They had the TV show Conspiracy Theory. Uh, uh, Ventura. Uh, Ventura. Ventura lives in Mexico yeah. now. Yeah. He's he's having a great time down there. They just don't want to come back to the United States. He's running. <laughs> <laughs> he something. And let me tell you, let me tell you, Jesse Jackson called Obama a nigger. You know, and he apologized. We're talking down to black people, and 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 he said he was talking down to black people, and he called Obama a nigger. Said he wanted to cut off Jesse Jackson's gonads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jesse know. Jackson said that. Well, yeah, he, apo he apologized and everything, but I'm telling you, he still uses the word. Al Sharpton wanted to bury the word. You know, they had a little funeral and everything. Like, we're going to bury nigga. I don't well, want anybody. Not Al Sharpton. It was Jesse Jackson, Louis Farrakhan, uh, Thurgood Marshall. They're saying, look, they said, okay, Bill Crosby and Dr. Alvin Pacetti says, yeah. hey, wake up, family. There's no difference. There's nothing nice about calling your friends and family the nigga word. I never understood how my people could use the word. And defend the use of the word as if it has some positive annotations attached to it. This now, word, this is a word that was used to keep our ancestors enslaved by using the word degradingly and inferiorly against them. The slave be masters beat the slaves using the word to keep them in fear and caught and in yeah. their so-called place they didn't as. As they were some sort of uncontrollable animals, yet they yeah, were treated yeah, yeah, worse yeah. than you know animals. And Why the, continue to give you know them so much are? power by making it popular and cool to other cultures when it has been used to degrade us in the past and continues to sting the ears and pierce the hearts of those 
who walked through and struggled and still remembered the word 